Hi again, St. Faith friends. I hope everybody's doing well. We still miss you. All of your teachers say hi, and hopefully that you're having fun in your houses with your parents. Um, today, I'm going to read one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stories of all time, um, and it has lots of great colors in it, and it just happens to be called Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. That art gallery looks pretty familiar. What, kind, what is that? What is that right here? Take a good long look. Put your thinking cap on. What do you think that is? That's right. It's a refrigerator. I bet you some artwork's hanging on your refrigerator at home too. I know mine has lots on it. Not all of her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. This one says, save the ocean. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. I agree with Marisol. Let me see all the pictures. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So, when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. So, a mural is a very large picture painted on a wall usually, and we have some of those here at St. Faith. So, in the blue room where all of the flowers are, and we even have a tile mural out front. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched together. They made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but couldn't find any blue. Guess what? What color is the sky usually on a nice sunny day? Blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? Hmm. How is she going to make the sky without blue paint? I'm having trouble getting the pages. The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. Where's the bus? All the way home, she stared out of the window. Hmm. What color do you see here? Yellow. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. This is the horizon, right here. And all of these colors are happening as the sun is setting. Later, at home, Marisol watched the day turn in to night. You see some more colors coming out there? That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. What's going on in that picture? Can you look at the sky? Think about it. What color is the sky right now? She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. How pretty is that picture? Look at all those colors. Can you tell me some of the colors that are on there? Good job. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. Can you see Marisol? The sky was not blue. She smiled. What color is the sky right now? At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. 
she swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol began painting on that wall and a boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, is sky color. Hmm. Should we see what color she painted? What do you think? Which color do you think she painted? <gasps> she painted them all. My goodness, look at that. It's beautiful. Do you see everybody? And what else do you see in the picture? I see lots and lots of fish in the ocean. Because, as Marisol said, the sky can be so many different colors. It can be yellow, it can be orange, it can be red, it can be blue, it can be purple, it can be black in the middle of the night. Dark, dark blue. So, I want you to go outside and look at the sky and tell me what color you think it is, but only with your parents. Okay, have a great weekend and we'll see each other next week. Bye guys.